Hello and welcome back to the series. We're going to be testing out top rated face masks sold on Amazon. And today we have the KF94. This is the Korean standard. These are the Bluna Face Fit. The whole packaging is in Korean, so I'm not going to be able to really talk about a lot when it comes to the packaging. I don't really like the way that it's being packaged. This comes with a little Ziploc bag and it's stuck <laughs> with a tape. So we're going to check both of these out. I'm going to go ahead and then open these up. So this is how it looks when you take it out. It doesn't have any markings on the mask itself, but it does have adjustable straps up here. The straps are welded, and there's one thing that I'm going to show you guys. They're being welded overlapped, so they, this seems very fragile. If you can see, there's a little uh, strap coming out. I don't think... Yeah, see? <laughs> It's it's kind of easy for you to pull these whenever you're adjusting it and it'll break pretty easily Let me go ahead and open up another one. Let's see how it looks from the inside The inside is pretty standard. It's not the softest But it's pretty good. Let's go ahead and try it on and see how it fits on my face I do have a pretty small face I think I need to adjust the straps just a bit more Because like I did say I do have a smaller face Oh Okay, so I have to adjust it a little bit so that it sits well on my face. This is how much I had to pull to fit my face. It does have a smell. It smells like incense, like the inside of a church. My mouth, while I'm talking, and even when I'm not talking, my mouth still touches the face mask because I had to adjust it for it to fit my face. Let's go over the listing really quick. They're currently sitting at a 4.5 out of 5 rating with 342 reviews. The price right now is $26, which makes it $2.60 per face mask. They're being sold by Unbrag. I did try to see if I can find a website with a Bluna that has like the authorized resellers, but I wasn't able to find that list. So we don't know if this is an authorized seller. So now that I gave you guys my initial thoughts of these KF94, let's go ahead and see if they pass the filtration test with our TSI machine. This is our TSI machine. We use it to test the particle filtration efficiency of a respirator or mask. Our testing procedure is inspired by NIOSH. We first remove the headband from the mask before placing it onto the testing plate to ensure a proper seal. Then, we make sure that the mask is completely sealed with hot glue to the testing plate. The testing plate is then attached to the frame and the box is placed under the TSI filter holder for testing. We will be testing three samples to get the most accurate information. Let's go over the results. F stands for airflow rate, which we test at 85 liters per minute. R is for resistance, also referred to as pressure drop. This correlates with the breathability. So the lower the number, the more comfortable and breathable the face mask is. E stands for filtration efficiency percentage. As shown, filtration percentage for all three masks was 98 0.52% or higher. So as you guys saw from the testing, all three face masks passed the filtration test. The pressure drop results were also pretty good for all three face masks. Overall, these are pretty standard KF94. I was able to adjust it so that it can frame my face. It also isn't the best holding nose wire. But once I was able to adjust the face mask to my face, able to touch the face mask with my mouth, and like my whole face was pretty much touching the face mask. So I didn't really like that. When it comes to comfort, I probably give that a 8 out of 10. And the fit, like I said, I was able to make it fit my face because of the adjustable straps. So that's probably like a 9 out of 10. The construction quality, like I had mentioned, the straps isn't the best. I didn't like the way that it was welded. So for the construction, I'll probably give it a 7 out of 10. I hope you guys found this video helpful with my opinions and my experience along with our TSI results. Please don't forget to give us a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel. Also, don't forget to recommend any face mask or respirator that you would like for us to try out next. We have a lot of requests and I'm really excited to try out the ones that you have that you guys have recommended please also don't forget to check the description box down below we will have a lot of information including our master data sheet and our website which is acumet.com and i will see you guys in our next video